HMS Prince Regent was a 56-gun British warship that served on Lake Ontario during the War of 1812. Prince Regent was built at the Kingston Royal Naval Dockyard in Kingston, Upper Canada and launched on April 14, 1814. Rated as a fourth-rate frigate, Prince Regent took part in the raid on Fort Oswego in 1814. Following the War of 1812 the frigate was renamed HMS Kingston on December 9, 1814. In 1817, the vessel was placed in reserve following the rush Bagot Treaty that demilitarized all the lakes along the United States-Canada border. Discarded in 1832, the vessel found no buyer and sank in Deadman Bay off Kingston after 1832. Prince Regent, rated by the Royal Navy as a fourth-rate frigate, measured 1,293 tons burthen and was 131 feet 1 in long at the keel and 155 feet 10 in overall. Prince Regent was of similar design to HMS Leander and HMS Newcastle, constructed in 1813, and was the first frigate to ever be constructed on inland waters. The vessel had a beam of 43 feet 1 in and a maximum draft of 17 feet 0 in. The frigate's depth of hold was 9 feet 2 in. A full rigged ship, Prince Regent was armed with 28 24 pounder long guns on the lower deck and four 68 pounder carronades and 24 32 pounder long guns on the upper deck at launch. By 1830, the armament had changed, with 30 24 pounder long guns on the lower deck and two 24 pounder long guns. 668 pounder carronades and 22 32 pounder carronades on the upper deck. Prince Regent had a complement of 280. In September 1813, the commander in chief of British North America, Sir George Prevost, approved further construction, which was initially set to a brig, but was later revised to two frigates. This was in response to new vessels under construction by the Americans. By the third week of October 1813, work began on the second frigate. The design of the vessel is in dispute, with Malcolmson stating that Patrick Fleming was the designer, with master shipwrights George Record and John Goody sharing responsibility. For construction, while Winfield states that it was Record who was named the designer though it was probably Goody who actually designed the vessel while Patrick Fleming, Goody's foreman, was responsible for the frigate's construction. The frigate was constructed at Kingston Royal Naval Dockyard in Kingston, Upper Canada. The construction of the vessel did result in the resignation of George Record, who was the master shipwright at Kingston and the frigate was built under private contract. Shortages of men and material at the shipyard led to construction delays. By January 1814, the frigate was completely planked and by February, had been caulked. Prince Regent was launched on April 14, 1814, a half hour after Princess Charlotte, the other frigate under construction. Attack on Fort Oswego. The Prince Regent, is the ship on the far left foreground, flying the Red Ensign. Prince Regent was made the flagship of Commodore Sir James Lucas Yeo's British squadron on Lake Ontario. Commander Richard O'Connor was advanced to the rank of post captain and made Yeo's flag captain aboard Prince Regent. The squadron departed Kingston on 4th of May with infantry and Royal Marines embarked for an attack on Fort Oswego. The squadron arrived on 5th of May with the attack commencing at 6 o'clock on 6th of May. O'Connor was in charge of the landing operation, getting the infantry into the bateau and gunboats into the shore. The town and fort were captured by the British late in the day. The British looted the town and returned to Kingston with their captured goods. On 11th of May, the squadron set out again, this time along the southern shore of Lake Ontario. On 19th of May, Yo put the naval blockade of Sackett's Harbour in place, pinning the American squadron under Commodore Isaac Chauncey within their main naval base. Prince Regent was stationed of Stony Island. On 29th of May, a British force that had been detached from Yeo's squadron, commanded by two of the squadron's captains and the majority of the crews of Montreal and Niagara, was defeated and captured at Sandy Creek. This significantly weakened the squadron. Yeo lifted the blockade on 5th of June and returned to Kingston. The resulting command shuffle led to Captain Frederick Hickey taking over Prince Regent and becoming Yeo's flag captain. Following the disaster at Sandy Creek, the majority of the squadron, including Prince Regent, remained in Kingston's harbour for the remainder of the summer. The arrival of the first rate, St. Lawrence on Lake Ontario led to another round of command changes. St. Lawrence immediately became the new flagship, and Captain Hickey transferred to the new ship. Captain Henry Davis took command of Prince Regent, which came into effect on 1st of October. On 16th of October, the squadron sailed again with infantry reinforcements for Niagara embarked. On 19 October, while in transit to Niagara, Prince Regent was hit by lightning. 
The following day, the squadron arrived and began the disembarkation. St. Lawrence's arrival led Chauncey withdrawing his squadron to Sackett's Harbour and never returned in force to Lake Ontario for the rest of the war. On 1st of November, Prince Regent sailed as escort to a convoy transporting infantry reinforcements to Fort George. The vessel then sailed to York, Upper Canada to embark troops returning to Kingston. Following the war, on December 9, 1814, the frigate was renamed Kingston. In January 1816, command of Kingston was given to Captain Sir Robert Hall. In 1817, Kingston was paid off into the ordinary as a result of the rush Bagot Treaty which demilitarized the Great Lakes. The vessel was ordered to be sold in January 1832. However, no buyers were found and the vessel sank in Deadman Bay in the mid-1830s. The wreck site, along with those of St. Lawrence and Princess Charlotte were designated a National Historic Site of Canada in 2015. Notes Citations Bibliography Thanks for watching.